far and away the worst flu month of the season so far. It's in its first two weeks. 50 Hoosiers have died from the flu or flu complications. And it's not just the very young or the very old. 24 Hour News 8's Brenda Donnelly is live in Plainfield. She just spoke with the family of a 37 year old woman who died from the flu yesterday, Brenna. Well, Phil, the woman who lives in this neighborhood has two children. She has a husband in the National Guard Reserves. Uh, and at Friday, her family says she was fine. She got sick towards the end of the day and was gone by Monday. Uh, now, we have photos of this woman that the family has shared with us. She's 37 years old. Her name is Carly Slavin. She works for Indiana University in their grant program. She's a wife and mother of two. She did not get her flu shot this year. That was uh, not normal for for her. She spent the last week of her life, though, caring for her family who had the flu. Uh, she got sick herself Friday, went to the emergency room, but she was released. Her family says she went back on Sunday after developing pneumonia, but the virus had already taken this healthy woman and broken down her immune system, and it was too late. This can't happen. You know, she was only 37, she had two little kids. And I shouldn't have to write her obituary. Carly's father told me he's already decided on one way to respect Carly's memory and hopefully make a difference. He says he'll take out a newspaper ad every year around this time urging people to get their flu shot. Now, I will say it is rare for a family member to come forward and talk to the media so close after losing a loved one. But this father told me that he really has a message to share, and that's just it, to get your flu shot. He said even if Carly had gotten her flu shot, she may have still contracted the virus. Uh, but he believes that maybe she had, she would have had some antibodies to help her body overcome uh, and maybe not succumb to it. Now, I also talked to the Department of Health today. They said that while January has been a very tough month for the flu, it still hasn't peaked yet. They say there is still time to get your vaccination, and hopefully that could help you avoid the infection or fight it. Uh, they advise anyone with flu symptoms to let your health care provider know you're having those symptoms so they can keep up to date as those symptoms might progress. But we have a lot more coming up on this story at 6 o'clock, so stay with us. Live in Plainfield, Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.